What's up everyone, Coach KG here, and recently I went through six plus months, no alcohol at all. It's been a fantastic experience, and I wanted to share some thoughts and lessons learned with you today. So the goal here isn't to convince you to live a certain type of way, convince you to be sober, anything like that, but more so educate, as well as just talk about my experience and thoughts along the way. So April of this year, Josh and myself were hanging out. We decided, why not just try this out? Six months, fully commit to it, no matter what. And it's been absolutely fantastic. You know, in the past, I would do specific months that a lot of people probably do as well. Uh, sometimes sober October, dry Feb, whatever it is, but not for a six month time frame where there were a lot of eventful things taking place, which I'll talk about in just a bit. But honestly, I've been absolutely blown away by the experience, especially because I've been able to learn a lot throughout this entire process. Now, the first thing is I realized, especially being a very, very social person, some of you may not know, but I love going out and hanging out with friends, whether it's catching a football game, going to a UFC event, watching UFC live, um, even just every Saturday night UFC card, we'd go to a bar and just, you know, hang out and grab some wings and just have a good time with buddies, weddings, uh, bachelor parties, all that great stuff. The thing I realized is that I would always have something just to have it to more so fit in. I think this is something a lot of people struggle with on their journey is kind of peer pressure or what's considered to be normal. You know, a lot of times people will have that extra dessert just because they don't want to let someone down who, who made it. They'll have that extra appetizer just because it's there and they don't want to let someone down. They'll drink just because other people are drinking. You get the point. And so for me, one of the greatest things was being able to consistently make those decisions that I actually wanted to make. And especially because drinking was one of those things I would find myself just having a drink or two just because it was there. Sometimes it'd be free at a specific event, whatever it is. But for me to be able to say, hey, no, I'm doing this challenge. It's been amazing. And one of the greatest things Josh and myself definitely learned is just how much you can actually be respected. I always used to think that a lot of people would look down and sometimes people would feel a little bit insecure if they're all drinking and we're not, but it actually sparked a lot of great conversations, especially as I really think that when you're on a journey and you explain something and the reason you're doing something, people automatically respect it. I always talk about it on the podcast, but a lot of times people are too worried or too scared. They'll have these certain goals, they'll do a challenge and they don't want to share it with others because they're just worried about something. But I found that every social event we went to, every specific thing that we would share, we're doing this six month challenge, people actually gained a lot of respect because it's very uncommon for someone to say they're gonna do something and follow through with it, especially these days. But I found that anytime we would go out to, once again, weddings, birthday parties, all that stuff, and just share, hey, I'm okay, I'm doing this challenge, it actually sparked a lot of really cool and interesting conversations of people who said, hey, I actually do this during the winter months when it's easier. I'll do one month at a time. I've been always wanting to do it. I was actually pretty blown away. Uh, obviously, I'm very grateful. I do have a, a very supportive friend group. And typically speaking, I only do surround myself with people who are kind of roughly on the same page and you know, we're just not going out to drink. So it's actually people who understand where we're coming from but i just thought it was really cool because uh, i feel like it sparked so many great conversations and i think a lot of people can gain respect for you when you say you're going to do something and you do it because i know a lot of times people will say hey i'm going to eat super clean for this amount of time and then when they don't stick to it a lot of people don't hold them to it similar to alcohol like i think some people are expecting to see us at that next event being like oh whatever like i i'm not doing it and there was just so many things that would go on now i did come across a quote recently that said alcohol is the only drug where if you don't do it people assume you have a problem and i really do think it's pretty mind-blowing how there are so many different negatives that take place within drinking if you were to sit down and weigh out the pros and the cons the list of cons will far outweigh the pros. You know, obviously you'll get a little bit more confidence. It'll give you a bit of a buzz. You might dance a little bit more, whatever the case is. But I just really have spent a lot of time reflecting on how I feel waking up, no, never hung over, never missing a workout, never eating poorly because of a lack of judgment. There's never anything that I regret. And not that I was doing this a ton before, but years and years ago, I remember back to those times where I would definitely drink and you know go out. And I think a really important thing that I've learned about myself is how much energy I can still have without it. And I know a lot of times it can be a great confidence boost. There's some people who they need to drink to go out, to socialize, to have a great time. But for me, you will never notice a difference. Like, I've spent a lot of time building up true confidence without the need to have something to have a conversation without needing to numb myself from anything. And it's something that I'm really, really happy to be able to say, because I do know that a lot of times it's very easy to crutch on specific substances and whatnot to leave you feeling more charismatic, more outgoing, to be able to keep you up later. And 
I just think it's so cool to be able to say, I absolutely need nothing. And it may seem like a small thing to some people, but I do know that it is something very, very common to be able to go out and socialize. Like you need to have something. And I still have an absolutely great time. My energy sky high, no matter what. And I think that's an incredible thing to be able to say. A couple other things I've noticed throughout is just how much money you can actually save, especially because alcohol adds up a ton. I'm sure a lot of people can relate, but each time you have that drink, it adds up significantly. But of course, once again, adding very little value. I'd much rather a nice plate of food, something that's gonna fill me up, a great source of protein, maybe some nice carbs, versus something that's just really not gonna do a whole lot for me. And I really think one of the biggest things I noticed is just how little value alcohol would actually add to my life, especially because, like I said, spending a lot of time building up true confidence, great energy levels, and just like working on being more charismatic and energetic naturally, I just realized it did absolutely nothing for me. And so it would always feel nice getting that bill, having a nice plate of food, tipping the server nice, but knowing I didn't need to have any alcohol and I had none at all. So even savings wise, it was absolutely incredible, the benefits. The other thing is it also caused me to think about being more selective for the people that I'm gonna be around, especially because I know some people who have friends who are only drinking buddies. I used to have those as well. I've got a great group of people that I love to be around. We do some amazing sporting events. We love to just go out to dinner. We do a lot of great stuff together, but it's not just about drinking. And that's where I think it really caused you to think, am I only hanging out with this person because we're drinking together, because we're having a great time, because we're drinking together? Or do I actually like this person's company and am I actually true friends with them? And it just really causes you to think because I know for a fact some friendships are held on just from the act of celebrating together with a couple of drinks and then that's it, but there's not really much else there. And I know this because I've been there myself. I really do believe a lot of people can gain something from doing something like this, especially when it's most inconvenient and for a longer period of time than you'd like to. I think it's very easy to do challenges when there's nothing planned, when there's nothing going on, or even just for a short amount of time. But the reason we chose six plus months, especially during summer and a lot of different things going on, a lot of trips, a lot of traveling, going to Vegas, um, all that great stuff for UFC was because we knew it would be a challenge. We knew that there would be times where it's pushed in front of you. We knew that it'd be something where you actually have to build true discipline and you have to step out of your comfort zone. And I think the reason a lot of people struggle in just different habits in life is because they'll only do things when they feel like it's the most convenient or when they want to. So anyways, it's been nothing but a great experience. I'm definitely excited to keep all these amazing habits I've built moving forward. And I really do think that if you were to try this, it absolutely could change your life. Even if you're not someone who struggles with alcohol, but you maybe just are lacking the discipline and you potentially drink when you don't want to, or you find yourself just giving into peer pressure, whatever the case is, I do believe that doing an experiment like this, doing a challenge, can help you create so many different benefits. You may learn a lot. That's all I have for today. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. I wanna say thank you for spending time with me. I know this video is a bit all over the place. I had a bunch of different thoughts, but overall, it's been a great experience. If I were to be able to encourage this to absolutely anyone, I would 100% encourage this experiment, challenge, or whatever you wanna call it, to absolutely everybody, no matter who you are. I think the benefits are endless. And I wanna say, I really don't think drinking adds too much value to most people's lives, of course. It is nice to celebrate. It is great to enjoy a milestone, maybe have a glass of scotch, you know, a birthday glass of wine, whatever the case is. But I do think that overall, it's one of those things that it's, it's not talked enough about how many people really do have problems. Anyways, that's a video for another day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.